how's it going? I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I'm going to put a video on on a camera stabilizer. This one you're looking at here, I think it's called a Pro Gradienter. Uh, unreal amount of different stabilizers on the internet. I ended up purchasing this one off eBay, and I went as cheap as I could to get this style, which is probably $65, $70. They range all the way up to a couple hundred, but the basics are pretty much the same. And they're not too bad for setting up if uh, the obvious getting the uh, being level up top would be the first step and from tipping one way or another and then you've got weights you put on the bottom and stuff like that to offset the top but the critical thing on these what I found is that distribution of the weight from the top down to the bottom if you got a little bit too much weight on the bottom you're going to get a, a teeter-totter effect when you stop and you can really see the uh, effect in, in the camera when you're looking at the footage and of course if you have not enough weight it's going to tip down on you so but I know that part isn't really talked about too much in any instructions or uh, even on the internet not too many videos showing that and one way to tell if you have the distribution just right is to hold it sideways and let it drop down and if it takes two seconds to go from the side down you're up, I would say that's about right that's what you got to concentrate on when you're you're setting these up the biggest problem I've seen with them is this handle and it's the same with all of them uh, they got about a six inch handle on it when you get down to about waist level trying to get a little lower they're always hitting up here some are a little more than others and there's really no way around it other than holding your hand sideways but I'm telling you, you even with a light little small camera on there it starts to get tiring and it's awkward and it throws off stabilization if you're uh, moving it like this too much so I thought I'm gonna have to figure out a, a better way with it either that or it's gonna go sit in the closet and I'll probably never use it so what I ended up coming up with I bent a broom handle metal pipe drill the hole in it so I can basically unscrew this uh, nut off the bolt that's holding the stabilizer uh, arm on the handle and then put it in there and that enabled the camera to be held the stabilizer with two arms and it was just night and day it was you know so much better but then you got this big honking pipe so I just thought about it a minute and I ended up taking a six inch PVC pipe uh, the half inch thick and drilling a hole in it right dead center and installing it in like so now that gives me the uh, ability to take two 45 degree elbows and put them on like this and then take two 10 inch extensions and end up putting them on like this and price of it a couple bucks now I'm able to use both hands to keep it stabilized and drastically increasing my ability to hold on to it and it actually made this thing a lot more stable and you can end up running one hand and you have this uh, pipe coming out to rest on your forearm for the heavier cameras that really wakes this thing up and and why they didn't come out with uh, something like this already with them because the good thing about it is one very cheap the half inch pipe and you can completely break it down and store it all in the original bag it come with you, you get one get the half inch PVC pipe drill holes in there you know a short afternoon of tinkering with it and they end up becoming a very usable and decent stabilizer. So what do you say, let's go outside and uh, see how this thing performs. All right, now I switched over to an action cam view. Went from this to this to this setup. And what I'm gonna do is uh, put some longer PVC pipe on. I think these are roughly 16 inches long. We're gonna pick a subject. We'll try this tree out first.
Here we got some apples here. You notice I can hold it with one hand way out. Gives you uh, some pretty good leverage. Definitely a lot nicer being able to use both hands, position them. Now one last thing real quick, I'm going to take this pipe off and what I did was took another PVC pipe as that, heated it up right here, bent it in at roughly a probably a 30 degree angle was to be able to put it on the end of this is an extension pole for a squeegee that i had that it's beat up and bent but it has the typical say a broom handle screw in whatever you want to call it but of course that pvc pipe does not fit over the screw handle so i thought about cutting this off and just bending this but if you're to take a little hand torch and heat up that PVC just enough to where it'll bend. You literally can then screw it on. And now you have your extension. So in theory, which I haven't tried it yet, this getting put on to there should enable me to hold that camera out and do all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. I got this hooked up. As you can see here, the pole. And you can have it either way. If you have it like this, you literally can bring it, drop it right down on the ground. And if you turn it this way, you can't really get it down on the ground, but you can go quite a ways, quite a ways in the air. So Let's give her a shot on this apple tree. Right now, like I had said, I hooked the action cam up to this uh, stabilizer. And you can't have absolutely no weight on the bottom. And I was able to make an adjustment to where it'll actually work. So, it's pretty good. And with them handles that I had devised, it's nice and light. There isn't a lot of movement in it, so for these smaller POV cameras or action cams or say a GoPro, these things work quite well. Let's grab some footage with the action cam on that apple tree and see how that looks.
hold it on with one arm, two arms. Seems to work pretty good even with the action cam. Kind of a pretty neat selfie stick. Well, there we are overall. Uh, putting that pipe on there, or the PVC pipe, and having different extensions you can use to hold on to it seems to work pretty good. And did a lot of trial on there. But I'm telling you, it beats the heck out of the original handle. I think they'd uh, come out with something like that. But a little bit of experimenting and went a long ways. But a couple bucks in the afternoons messing around, and you have a pretty good stabilizer on hand. So there you go, stabilizer on the cheap.